For this example, I've been given the parametric equations x is equal to 1 over 1 minus t, and y is equal to t squared over 1 minus t, and I've been asked to calculate dy by dx at the point where x equals 1. So the first thing I need to do is calculate dy by dx. So dy by dx for parametric equations is given by dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So the first thing I need to find is dy by dt. So my dy by dt here will be found using the quotient rule. And that is because I have t squared being divided by 1 minus t. So my quotient rule tells me to have 1 minus t and times it by the derivative of t squared, so that times it by 2t, and then take away t squared and times by the derivative of 1 minus t, which is just minus 1, and then divide all of that by 1 minus t all squared. So looking at the, the top of our fraction, expanding it out, I'll get 2t minus 2t squared, and then I'll get a minus minus, so that will give me a plus t squared. And that is all divided by 1 minus t, all squared. So that will simplify down to 2t minus t squared, all over 1 minus t, all squared. So that gives me my dy by dt. I also need to find my dx by dt. And to do so, I'm going to rewrite my 1 over 1 minus t. I'm going to write it as 1 minus t to the minus 1. So on doing so, I can find my dx by dt. It becomes minus 1, because I bring the power down the front. 1 minus t to the minus 2, because I take 1 off the power. And then I need to multiply by the derivative of what's inside the bracket. So that is minus 1. So my dx by dt is 1 over 1 minus t all squared. So now I have my dy by dt and my dx by dt. I can find dy by dx. It is simply 2t minus t squared all divided by 1 minus t all squared divided by 1 over 1 minus t all squared, and we will see that these 1 over 1 minus t all squared, they cancel each other, so our dy by dx is equal to 2t minus t squared. So this gives me my dy by dx as a function of t. Now the question asks for dy by dx at the point x equals 1. So as my dy by dx is given as a function of t, I need to find the value of t when x equals 1. So I said x equals to 1, and I solve the following equation. So I need to find the value of t from this equation. So a simple rearrangement tells me that 1 minus t is equal to 1, therefore t equals 0. So when x equals 1, t equals 0. So now all I need to do is find my dy by dx. And to do so, I just have 2 lots of 0 minus 0 squared, which is 0. Therefore, my dy by dx is equal to 0 at x equals 1.